What is up everyone? Welcome back to your daily dose of Heroes of the Storm. My name is Saren Depp and today we are playing Falstad. Let's get into a game. Let's fly. All right, today we are fighting it out in the Battlefield of Eternity. My team, Rainer, Thrall, Lili, Asbadan, Falstad, enemy team, Falstad, Lili, Abathur, Thrall, and Murky. Okay, we're going to be going with an auto attack style build again today. Um, with that, we're taking Seasoned Marksman for our first talent. Every six minion and mercenary kills are going to give us one basic attack damage. Um, enemy heroes are going to count three towards that total. Uh, this requires us to farm quite a bit. And this is only a two-lane map, and the lanes are pretty far apart, so we may not get as many stacks as we normally would in uh, a three-lane map or a smaller map. All right, our ability is really quick. Q is called Hammerang. We're able to throw a hammer out, um, and it will travel out, deal damage to anything it passes through, slowing it by 20%, and then it will come back to us doing the same thing. Uh, this is a great ability that allows you to slow multiple opponents and deal some decent damage, decent damage. Um, it will come back to wherever you currently are, so it can arc and do all kinds of fun stuff like that. Our W is called Lightning Rod. Basically, as you can see the radius around me, I'm able to target an enemy, and it will deal damage to them, and then it will pulse once every second for four seconds, as long as they remain inside that circle. Um, the circle with the radius will grow a little bit with the... You can see the radius grew a little bit there. All right. We're actually going to get another Thrall, because his deaths mean more. Okay, so you see me use my E right there. My E is called Barrel Roll. This is basically a dash. All right, it's basically a dash that's going to give us a small shield as well. Okay, our trait is called Tailwind. Tailwind is a very interesting ability. Um, basically. Whenever we don't take damage for 6 seconds, we're going to get 20% movement speed. This is kind of how we get around the map. We don't have a traditional mount. Instead, we're kind of left with this. We're actually going to tap because the... Alright. We may need to head back. Alright, another way we can get around the map is our ability to fly. Now, like I said, we don't have a traditional style mount, so we are going to be left with the requirement of flying flight is a 45 second cooldown allows us to sort of get around the map um, with a quickness All right. try to slow wasn't able to do so all right we have no mana we have very little life we're going to need to back out completely here I'm going to retreat, and then I'm going to come back and hopefully be able to do something here. And this time, we're taking Vampiric Assault. Now, Falsad is a very, very squishy ass uh, assassin. He takes a lot of damage, and this is just going to allow us to sort of stick in the fight longer from taking the, the AoE. Now, if we get focused, it will not help us at all, so we need to be very careful with that. Trying to get out of stun. All right, it looks like we're going to be able to get this guy down, no problem. Okay, and we've win the first Immortal. We got this. Let's see where it goes. He's going to go top. Asbidane's going to continue to push the bottom lane. That is not a bad call. Um, the first one is going to die very quickly, so uh, doing what we can to sort of maximize damage. All right. It's going to be helpful. It's going to be helpful. Let him tank, get some structural damage here. It's pretty much the best we can hope for with the first Immortal. Kill the Murky Egg. You need to get better at using the, uh, the attack function instead of just trying to right click and go in. Um, there's actually an, a button you can hit. It's default A. It allows you to move and attack in that, at that location. I need to get much, much better at doing that. We should probably take this. Alright. I'm going to head up there now and deal with this. 
I know I pinged it and it sort of backed away. But we should be okay. Okay, at this talent here, we're going to take Secret Weapon. Now, the reason I'm taking this instead of First Aid is we have a Lili on our team. Uh, the enemy does not seem to be too intent on focusing me down for now anyway. So what Secret Weapon is going to do for us is whenever we toss our hammer out, our, we're going to deal 80% more damage with our basic attacks. 80% more damage. That is a crazy amount of damage to be doing with your auto attacks. Now, granted, the hammering isn't out for very long, but this is going to go very well with our level 20 talent when we finally get there. We're going to be able to get this structure down pretty much uncontested. There we go. Should back out. We don't know where the enemy is at. I see two of them on the minimap, and then there's the false setup here. But, no, three of them on the minimap now. We continue to push. Immortal should be coming up here soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. I don't really have any timers for the Immortal. It was just a feeling that I had. It felt like they were going to be coming up soon. He unfortunately got himself into a bad situation where we were able to collapse in around him. Okay, so Immortals are up. We're going to go ahead. Our Tailwind has activated. You can see it. You can tell when your Tailwind is going by the little movement speed thing. Now, you are 20% um, movement speed instead of the 40% mounted, so don't be in front of your buddies. Don't, don't body block them behind you. Let them do their thing. Alright, we're going to toss this thing out. Deal some extra damage. Unfortunately, Lili is um, a pretty pretty heavy counter to both myself and um, and our Rainer character, uh, Rainer player, because of the uh, the blind on her E. Makes it a very big problem. For us. Trying to get out of the stun. All right. Okay, so this talent here, we're going to be taking Hinterland's Blast. Hinterland's Blast is a fantastic heroic that does a lot of damage. Now, it is a little difficult to hit just because it is a very thin line um, for a very thin line skill shot. So keep that in mind when you are using it. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people taking Mighty Gust because it's much easier to hit. And the slow attached to it is pretty crazy. It's 60% that degrades over time. So, a decaying 60% slow. Pretty pretty strong slow. And it knocks enemies back. So, on objectives where, like, Cursed Hollow, where you're trying to basically limit the enemy's ability to um, stay on point, it's going to help you out a ton. Um, here, oh no, taking a lot of damage. <laughs> Bam, Hinterland's Blast. Alright, I do not want to move in by myself, that's why I'm attacking the wall. Plus, it's going to give us an avenue of escape, and I'm getting some healing done as well. Alright, we're going to start focusing on this structure over here, getting the, uh, the well down. I'm blinded. As you can see, the blind is so strong! Now, if I hadn't already made up my mind that I was like, oh, I'm going to... See, he took the... Uh... We just need to back out. If I hadn't already made up my mind that I was going to do the auto attack build um, before I started playing, if I would have seen a Lili, I may have gone with a different build. And there are different builds you can go with on Falstad. He is... That's one of the reasons why I like Falstad so much, is because he has a few builds that are all pretty strong. Um, there are more safety style builds, there's a hammering build, there's a sort of mage style build, there's a hybrid build that allows you to sort of play around with all different kinds of stuff. But. I basically made up my mind before I came into this match that I was playing the auto attack. Oh, that's what I was going to showcase. Don't be wrong, Lili, while she is a counter to me, she, uh, if she's taken out, there is no blind. So, there's that. <laughs> Alright, we're going to come up here. Now, I could fly up here. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to go up there by myself. Or, or I wasn't going up there by myself. We're going we're gonna to continue. Never mind. Okay, enough dancing. We're going to fly. I love the sound effects for this this new skin. Um, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Alright. 
So we're going to take Giant Killer at this talent here. Now, if you look at the enemy team, they don't have a lot of high health heroes, so that you're not going to be getting much at a Giant Killer. But extra damage is still extra damage. Um, extra damage on your auto attacks, they're still going to hurt. It's it's still extra damage, like I said. And extra damage is exactly what you're looking for. Bye. All right, I'm pinging danger right there because I'm fairly certain the enemy is trying to get their camp. We're just going to test this by... Nope. I thought the enemy was going to be there because that's what I would have done. We took some damage in the top, move down, take the camp, get ready for the, uh, the immortal phase. Okay, so immortals are up. We have the talent advantage. It's uh, not going to be there for much longer. I completely, uh, I guess I didn't completely whip with that, but my eyes are glued to the mini map. I'm trying to, I'm in a bad spot. I don't want to be that far forward. All right. Kind of uh, fought a retreating battle there. It's not terrible. If they rotate down, we're just going to come here and we're going to push this to the 50% marker. There we go. This is going to give our teammates time to get up and then get back out here. We get lucky. Okay, we did not get lucky. So we're going to defend this. Octode! Ah, uh, so that is going to give me a slight uh, cooldown. There we go. Okay, so their thrall is down. That means we have the advantage now. Oh, oh, how did we not get him? Not quite GG yet. All right. <laughs> just, just not, I keep losing focus and getting hit by stupid stuff like the stuns and things like that oh my word okay so it's gonna go to the top lane looks like Thrall wants to push in the bottom this is not a bad call um, when we get the minion wave up in here they're gonna have to either you know deal with us or uh, deal with the immortal on the top who will push in very quickly because there's a wave up there as well just uh, be cautious when doing stuff like this because the enemy can still turn things around on you. Um, and with the current state of the game, there is a lot that uh, the enemy can do to really throw you. Oh no! That was a nice fly. Very, very nice fly. See, this is what I was talking about. This is exactly what I was talking about. The enemy can still turn things around. Um, and, yeah, they can still push in and get a lot of structural damage. That being said, this Immortal still has about 50%. So, they're just going to catch up in experience. They're not really going to get too much further. Um, yeah, they're not going to get much further than this. So, as long as we are able to continue to put pressure on them and win the team fights, this little throw <laughs> was not really a throw okay this down here we're taking hammer time uh what this is going to do is when an enemy is hit by our hammering the first auto attack against that target is going to stun them yep good call get the camps all right we're just preparing ourselves to fly So as you can tell, this gives us uh, the, the capability of getting around the map very quickly. Flight is a huge advantage, and it's one of Falstad's greatest strengths. Uh, the ability to sort of just get to where you need to get to. If we can get a pick here, we could probably end. Alright, we're not all here. Oh, 
not quite. All right, that's just the clone. All right, we're not all here yet. I'm just trying not to get into a bad position here. Come on, we can get the stun out. There it is. All right, this is going to be GG. There's nothing they can do about this now. They have too many down. Like I said, never call GG too early. Never call GG too early. There's far too many instances where you could throw the game. Um, the enemy team was doing a really good job. Their false stat with the Mighty Gust, he was throwing us towards their core so that we were having to fight under the core. The last time, it didn't work out quite as well for him just because we were ready, we were ready for it that time. But you still have a lot of instances where you can get a lot of great uh, sort of disorientation um, with that 60% slow. Here are the stats really quick. Um, when you're going up against other like ranged ass assassins, uh, much like Raynor, um, your strength isn't necessarily going to be your damage. Your strength is going to be in your mobility um, and sort of the other things you bring to the table. Mighty Gust is uh, an example of that. I just felt like Hinterland's Blast is a better, a better choice for this map. Um, because you don't really want to blow enemies off of your immortal because if they're fighting under your immortal you're already uh, in a good spot so you don't want to throw them off of that now the enemy false side was doing a good job just because they were behind and we were pushing into their core so i, I just feel like hindrance blast was just a better call on this map now that being said it didn't hit too many people with it so my damage is a little lower um you're gonna see Varying numbers. At level 20, things are going to be a little bit different for you because your attack range is going to be much longer and your attack speed is going to be higher. So that when, you're, when you throw your hammerang out there, you're actually going to get more of that bonus damage from the secret weapon. Um, that being said, Raynor is still a very strong hero right now. So trying to compete in damage with him, you're, you're usually going to lose. You're usually going to lose. Um, but like I said, your strength doesn't really come from your damage alone. It comes from your utility um, and mobility. Uh, the talents we went with today, again, we went with a pretty standard um, auto attack build. At level 1, we took Seasoned Marksman, extra damage whenever we kill minions and mercenaries and enemy heroes. Vampiric Assault gives us 15% uh, of the damage we deal back from our auto attacks. Secret Weapon, now this is a talent here where you can kind of do what you need to do. Um, if you don't have a healer on your team and you're taking a lot of damage, you can go with First Aid. Um, I felt like Lily was doing a fantastic job keeping us up, and... Um, so I was trusting in her to do that and to keep us alive. So we went with Secret Weapon instead, which just allows us to deal more damage. At 10, like I said, Hinterland's Blast, or Hinterland Blast. Um, I'm just a fan of this one. I know it's a lot harder to hit with and really get solid use out of, but I'm just, I, I like this one more, just personally. Um, I have used uh, Mighty Gust quite a few times recently, and in, in almost all the circumstances, it's been fantastic. Um, because it just it disorients in, um, the enemy. And you can throw parts of the enemy back if you line it up right. And it's a lot easier to hit with. So you're, you're pretty much every time you use the heroic, you're getting your use out of it instead of hinterland blasting and completely whiffing. At 13, Giant Killer. Um, for this particular team, it doesn't, didn't really do a lot more damage. Uh, but when you're going up against like a Cho'Gall or a heavy front line with Double Warrior, Giant Killer, you're going to get more than your money's worth out of it. Um, that being said, even if it's not doing a ton of damage to the squishier heroes, it's still extra damage on your auto attacks. Always think of it like that. It may not be a lot more extra damage, but it's still extra damage. At 16, we took Hammer Time. This is basically our first basic attack against a target slowed by our hammering. We'll be stunned for slightly less than a second, 0.75 seconds. So it's a great ability, allows you to lock down. It basically, stuns are the name of the game in this beta. And if you are providing some kind of stun and you have it in your kit, you're doing it wrong, basically. That's the way you need to think about it. If there's a stun in your kit, you should always be specking for it. Because so many people have stuns now, and until Blizzard changes this, it you just need to basically go that route. At 20, we would take Nexus Frenzy. Um, Nexus Frenzy is the one that gives us 20% attack range and 20% attack speed. Now, that being said, depending on the map you're on, you can forego that talent even with the auto attack build and take epic flight. 
it really depends on the map and really depends on your team. If you guys are really, really far ahead and you guys really want to contest objectives or you're doing some kind of crazy split pushing, Epic Flight is the way to go. If you are slightly behind or your team really, really needs the damage, go with the Nexus Frenzy. Like I said, that is one that is 100% up to you. It's like the level 7 talent. 100% up to you and what you need for that map and for your team. But, uh, yeah, so uh, the Here's a Storm, like I, I'm going to be putting out a video here soon about a channel update. Um, Here's a Storm is going to be sticking around, guys. I'm going to be bringing out videos. I'm trying to do something a little special with one of the videos every week that should hopefully change things up a bit. Um, but... I'm going to be changing the series. Probably not going to be every single day I'm putting out a Heroes video. Maybe three times a week. So it's just going to be called Heroes of the Storm. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for more of those. And uh, just keep your eyes peeled for more and more content coming out that I hope that you guys all enjoy. But uh, that is going to be it for today, though. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I will catch you all later.